The jumping Choya cactus is also named the teddy bear Choya, silver Choya, and Choya Guerra. The genus is Opuntia, like so many other cacti around Southern California. The species is Bigelovi, and that basically connotates a big lovable teddy bear. And for some reason, people once thought this was something you wanted to hug, at least from a distance, because it looks all fuzzy. But when you get close and examine it, you realize they're actually composed of these loosely, easily detachable stem segments that are all about 25 centimeters long on average. And there's one main trunk, as you can see, for most of these. They're covered in these 2.5 centimeter uh, white silvery spines that have microscopic vicious fish hooks on them. And once you get pricked or any other unsuspecting mammal that brushes into these just very lightly, these are the fruits. And the stems will basically detach and what happens is you know although they have flowers and form fruit as you can see here the fruit is usually sterile strangely enough and the plant relies on the drop stems to propagate that are left behind by mammals um, you know that are in for a world of hurt if they don't have medical care after being stabbed so jumping choya have several adaptations to survive in the arid desert. A thick covering of spines shade the plant from the desert heat just like I said with a barrel cactus and that prevents animals from eating them. I don't think anyone wants to get near this thing and the stems are separated into segments that store water and allow for photosynthesis ind independently. So um, even a strong wind can disperse these segments.